Hi guys, today I'm sharing with you on my um, clay pochette collection. So like how do I use them, how do I like them, you know, all that jazz. So let me just get started. So this will be from Prada. It's in gold hardware, Safiano leather in nowhere. And it comes in, this is the little gazette. We have this leather tab and it's a half zip over here it opens very widely and this is a removable button tab right here so I've never removed it anyway and um, how I usually use my um, clays I actually have this out and then I'll really have my keys over here in the ring and then inside I'll have my cash coins cards I actually use this like a wallet along with my key holder so this is how I use it and it's very roomy I mean it houses tons of cards I mean I wouldn't say like all your loyalty cards with all the credit cards but your essentials with your cards and coins I think that's good there are no pockets inside so it's just an embossing made in Italy and but it's a very roomy compartment and the leather is very durable it looks as good as new I have this probably for about three four years now so along there I've got the sister which is a sister brand and the sister design um, from Miu Miu whereby it's in the Matalase I think leather same thing in Noah, it's in lambskin, I think. And it comes with this gold um, tab with Miu Miu and this leather finishing, which we have it in the olden days. Not olden days, but from Louis Vuitton, you know. And then it seems open this way, and it's Miu Miu made in Italy. Opens very, very wide, especially when the leather is softer than this one. It opens much wider. And same thing, I can do a removable one. I would say that Prada and Miu Miu shares a lot of similarities in terms of design also. I, I gather that they probably, you know, since they're sister company, so and affiliated, so I believe that maybe they exchange a little bit in terms of the design. So some things that I found fine in Prada, I do find them similar, very similar in Miu Miu, but it's just that with Miu Miu, they have all these pleats um, leather, whereby Prada commonly is like the swift, smooth Safiano leather. So, but I, if you ask me, I would prefer this piece because it's prettier with the pleats on and um, it's lovely. It's very durable. It's lambskin, but if you can see, I've got not much of a wear on it. I also, since I've purchased both of them in a different timing, I've been using it um, consistently for maybe a couple of months, a month or two, then I've gotten of this and I've consistently using them. And same thing, about the same time frame, about three, four years ago. And I do really enjoy them. Since then, I started a little bit of a venture into clay pochettes because I really like to show you how I use them. Okay, so since I have like, I'm using this now, so I'll just show you what I like about it. So I normally have this um, D ring or a ring whatever in all the pouches i actually hang my car key inside well um i do not owe any six ring or four ring key holder simply because i do not carry my house keys so um because mine is electronic kind so um i only need to carry my car fob that's all so i do yeah it, it doesn't make sense for me to buy those i know i wouldn't use it anyway so i always like to have these kind of um items so that I can actually house my car key and I can actually really have like my card and my cash so here's where I have my cash right in there which is very spacious and this is an area sometimes I may have my coins like now I have one yeah and extra cards right here so I don't really use this like a main wallet given my SLG collection has really broadened lately so I have mainly used this like an, an, a mini catch-all you know I have a little bit of a cash an extra card a little bit of a coins some essential cards if I need to and my car key mainly is my car key so that at least I know I'll just grab and go so whichever that I'm using in that on that day I will that would be like the main essential you know little thing that I would carry on with me so this is it and it comes in Damia Azure and then it comes with this little I don't know what can I say it's yellow or it's a bit of a seaweed green it's a bit of a touch of a yellow with a touch of a green it's pretty accurate what you can see right now this is really the color that I'm looking at also so this is the color I can't really call this you know 
I don't know what to say for this color, but it's, it blends in very well. Yes, as good as about this print for the color. It's a limited edition. It's about 2007-2008 collection, one of my older piece. Actually, I have two of these, exactly the same. Um, one, I've got it in the boutique. One, I've got it pre-loved because I love it so much. I'm actually looking for one in monogram with this trunk um, design also, but... Um, one of it, the price was like really ridiculous, so I, I was like, oh. So I came across another piece which is pre-loved, and I think she was selling at about $100 USD. I was like, oh, it's worth the money. I mean, I picked it up. So eventually, I've got two of these, actually. So another one is stored in my closet. And um, if you ask me, honestly, this is the most enjoyable piece among all, which I'll explain to you why thereafter. So, um, so this is it. And this, and this is how I use my items. So basically, whenever I use them, I will house, you know, some cash, some cards, some, you know, change. And I will always have my car key being tied up to here. So why I gave this up? Because it's very difficult to get my car key in. This is literally like an old-fashioned kind of the, you know, the, the, the ring where I really have to you know open this up and it's really very tricky for your nails so um it's very it's really much of a hassle i can't change it out every day or in and out i when i put it in i mean it's such a hassle of course i should use it you know for a longer time so that's why i like to change out with it between these brands so that it's just so easy to change out the car keys if you get what i mean it's just push open a little it's open remove it and whatsoever it's very easy and going back to the button snap here it's not removable you can take a look it's not removable it's Louis Vuitton made in France so that's the embossing it's still in a very very good condition I love this piece I love it because this is the new version it's really a little bigger I would say like half an inch bigger in terms of the height and the width it's just bigger and this leather tab is just awesome i just love this little finishing so um this one i believe all of you are very familiar which i'll just do a very quick um review on so this is in the metal tab metal pool and because um the canvas is actually um, both folded inwards and they're sewn inside right here because they're sewn inside the stitches is inside unlike this one the stitching is outside it's like two piece they stick it and they sew it together so it's very limited in terms of the width how much you can stretch it so it's not that comfy in in terms of using it but this is much roomy because they actually fold it inwards and they stitch it inside so um in terms of the capacity is much much better if you can see it's like translucent a little bit behind you can see some little gaps but yeah that doesn't bother so um this is the little ring tab we have and it's again non-detachable a little tab that's sewn on the side i thought the change of sewing onto the side is good because that way it doesn't because when it's right here it actually gets in the way of some of the cards when you carry or cash you know it, it does stretch a little bit to the card so if it's sewn to the corner it's really much better it maximizes the space right here and this piece is made in france so let me just close this i like it so much that i of course like many others i have the trivector this is in the monogram print this is in the damia ibin which is my latest in the collection and this is my damia azure so i'll leave it as that and then this one i know um a lot of you you could use it for like a card holder come wallet i use it if i do i use it for the same reason but this one if i do enjoy it simply because they have the zip pocket and i purely use this for coins if i do use it because i'm a person who carries a lot of coins anyway and then um yeah this will be the d-ring inside and then this is made in france also and it's very very roomy i would have to say that this is really sufficient to be as a wallet even with my loyalty cards because it opens very wide very very wide it's like a black hole and just as long as you're able to close it snap whichever amount you can contain you can just contain it so that's the good point oh yes i have one more verney one wait let me just grab it i thought i do not have that 
Oh yes, sorry, I have this also. I forgot to bring it out. I just remember I like I'm missing of something. So this is a very very good piece which I like. And then setting that aside to compare it with um the Umpront leather now. To me these two are very similar because in terms of like the height and the length, yeah, very very close comparing with what we have now so this is really very roomy which i thought is very good but i would say that i prefer the ombron to leather first of all it's much softer it opens much wider this is the olden version which is in the rose ballerine but if you can see mine has turned it oxidized a lot it's like peachy color like beige little beige this is the original rose ballerine color so it has fade out but i thought it, it really matches well anyway it doesn't bother me at all this has been like a little um travel wallet whenever i travel because it's patent among all i mean this is durable but this actually um because it's taller so it actually houses a lot of different currencies because there's some currencies the notes are like taller in the note size so this may not fit all or i have to really fold them to mini mini size it can be a chore especially if you're trying to identify what notes and what currency when you're in the country and you don't want to drag the whole payment you know time so just buy fold them i can just slash them in and then if i need to but i usually don't if i'm in overseas so it does have the d-ring and this is non-detachable i now realized so um because it's bigger i think that's why they have it a little bit in this particular area whereby the smaller ones they have it right at the corner which is good so um if you ask me actually i think this is very deceiving because unless you use it like really really long for a long time it stretches out especially this is like the it's not patent but it's this oh this is the verney leather it actually it's stretchy now yes but if i really slot my cuts in and everything when i zip it up it really gets bulgy and out of shape it's pretty awful so it to me it doesn't house as much definitely as compared with this one so um if you ask me between these two i would go for this on prawns leather because it houses really really lot very good to use very practical very classic because you have the embossing it's a full leather you have your hardware you have this little um, coin compartment you can use it for cards compartment you can fit a card inside also you can use it for coins cards whatsoever so it's very very versatile if you're like me who like to just hang this out and you can also have your keys out there if you find it you want to use it just fully as a key fob you can actually just throw it in also as a key holder it works perfectly fine so i mean in terms of versatility this is really very good and this is another option and but i'm not really a big fan of that honestly so um that's why i've just got one of those and yeah that's that and then my next verney that i have i don't have many verney items so it's just that few is this older version also which is in been years but i thought it's very lovely so there is this little button behind that says louis vuitton yeah and then this is the little old version the lock that you have which is still in very good condition it's like really shining still the, if you ask me why somebody do ask I mean because I rotate my SRGs a lot I mean yeah so if you do rotate you do lengthen a little bit of their lifespan so this is it and this is the D-ring same thing the D-ring is non-removable right over here and it's rather stretchy yes but because it's it is empty that's why but if I fill it with like five three cards I mean it really holds a bit of the length here i mean it get restrictive you have really have a cache and whatever inside it does get caught in the zip actually so i like this because it's like unless you're on a days like just carrying your keys or some coins very minimal cash very minimal cards with um a key for whatever yeah you can use this or maybe like a car key for right here which doesn't scratch the bag it was a round edged one and then you can have the rest of your keys inside if that makes sense that is good too but how i use it is always with a little bit of cash cards and coins but this one and this one if i'm using them i would be using with very minimal cash and cards because it's very difficult to access because they are sewn outside they are glued and sewn outside 
the two pieces of leather together so it restrict the opening of it whereby these are sewn they are like folded inwards if you can see and they are sewn inside so it actually widens a lot in terms of the opening it's like so massively wide whereby this one it's oh it's soft so you could but um it doesn't house it as much i've tried so when you have things feel it's very difficult to access in and out and it's limited so but i really like this piece this is like the only multi-color i have in black nowhere so the print still how um holds up very well i think and it comes with this gold um tab right there here so same thing the older version they all have this little button right here which i honestly think is very lovely that's why i still keep them and i, I find it very very classic so yeah i really love all of them actually i don't love these two as much because i really find them very bulky but i believe that i do come to use of it in some time if i really want to house more things in there among all these i mean i really don't use this as much because I find it very limiting but I do change them I still rotate them but I don't reach out to this as much and this one except if I'm traveling this is the first thing that I've considered if not this one because they are taller they are compact and they do house um, the currency very easily but I like this more I want to protect these this one so that's why I normally reach out to this one more even though it's rose ballerine but yeah so that's for the Louis Vuitton and next I have is my Gucci. These are the only two I have, I think. This one is in the Soho Disco C um, range with the beige color and the leather tab. And on it, it says, it says nothing. So it's just some hardware, if you can see. Focus, focus. Yeah. So it opens like this. And then inside is a non-removable ring chain over here. Non-removable, if you can see, is sewn on. So there's a leather tab that says Gucci, made in Italy. And then you have your coat right beneath. And it is very roomy. But because I really find it short, and <clears throat> when I use this, I do have my notes really get caught up a couple of times. I don't like it because of that. So I, again... Um, yeah, I don't reach out from as much as I do. So I, how does this open? It's actually a pull and you twist and then get it open and you pull and you twist it back. So that's how we open it. So, um, yeah, this is very classy. I mean, I really like it. So that's this one. And okay, let me arrange them in terms of the color scheme. Okay, so the next one will be the last one. It's this one. This has been my favorite for a long time. If you can look at it, it's like really worn. I've really stretched out the leather, but it looks very fine. Like not much of a scratch, not much of anything except like the the leather has been stretched because I've like, you know, really, really used this up like that. So I really, really love this because if you can see, it has, it is a little taller. With this little extra space of height it does make a difference to your notes to your accessibility and to the cards trust me so because of this reason i do use this and this i like it that it's a bit not too tall this is honestly a little too tall like on a daily grip like that i can't really grip it very comfortably but holding it like that is fine but I prefer it to grip it like that with my palm. So this is uh, shorter in height. If you take a look and you compare it, let me do it for you. This is a, definitely shorter than my black empreinte one. So that's why I really like this one. And this one houses much more than the new ones. If you see it. So that's why I really, really, really enjoy this one. To use it as like a quick mini wallet with my... Um, car for so this is my go-to and then if not actually is this one but this one is very roomy but it doesn't house as much as this one does so that's why but i have used this to death i love the print is so classic i love the gold hardware that they have now i don't really like the current season the flowery bloom print with the 
is a canvas i don't know that that kind of i still like it in leather and i think that gucci's leather is very durable and the cost is really really very reasonable so we have the gucci tab and inside that's that same thing is sewn onto the side over here and that's how you open it pull open twist and then twist and close so yeah so if you ask me among all this is my go-to favorite because the size is perfect it houses a lot it's not that big but yet it's bigger than the usual ones don't get me wrong i do enjoy these also but just that our notes are a little bit taller and they are not like the paper notes they are like the plasticky so if you really want to fold and fold and fold them it's it's really a hassle and to really tuck them into these small mini ones is difficult this gives me extra room that's why i enjoy it and the most important thing is because it opens really wide i do have one slip pocket right here i do have one slip pocket right there it's very roomy and i just love it the compartment is take a look it's just so spacious and it's in canvas i don't see much of a wear just a slight little discoloration but given that its age is i think it's in perfect condition the print is like that it has been fady fady since day one and when i purchase it that's the design which i really love it so um i really like it i really really like this one so if on the second in the option i would go for my gucci this has been a very very nice leather to grip it's very small it's very soft the cuts goes in the notes sits in pretty nicely the coins everything fits in if you can see i really have worn these this piece for you know quite a bit so it has been put into rest for same thing a couple of months here and there already but i do occasionally rotate it out so recently if i have been like actively rotating it's between this one i'm using a lot this one and my Dame Ipin, I'm just into Dame Ipin at the moment. I'm, usually I'm rotating between these two. Um, often, if you look into my what's in my bag and whatnot, you usually should discover these two. But I actually like this a lot, but because it's been discontinued, the leather is, the canvas is soft right here. It's actually pretty stretchy. But because it's discontinued, if you look at my condition, it's pretty shiny. It's pretty good. So I do not want to damage it in any way you know unless i know that i can be well i'm always pretty conscious with what i'm using but i just baby it a little bit more for this piece as compared with any other so this is not too babying because it's ferny and it's pretty durable so actually i do throw it around if i do use it but i do baby my multi-color because it's so classic i feel it's like the luggage look of it and this is the only piece i have in such classic ones i don't really like the multi-color honestly but i do like the trim this hardware the finishing and now when it's discontinued i know yeah i've i baby it a little bit more so i do love this piece so this would be my number three that i use it as often this one not so much lately maybe i've like i've consistently used it for like almost a year to two years straight recently i've been using these two because i find that they are more durable and i just love the hardware color along with this damia it being is just something about it, it speaks about the color it's just very beautiful i didn't choose my damia azure because i have been using it like that so i just wanted like you know a change of color that's why so this is my collection for now um if you are looking out for any of the pieces i would say that these few pieces definitely together with i think um this one they are all discontinued this one yes but without the plague but the rest i would say for the louis vuitton the trifecta these plays they are still in the market you can you shouldn't have much of a problem to get hold of them maybe some short waiting list but shouldn't be a big problem they're still in production this one yes also and then um these two I, i'm afraid not because i have but they may have like similar things i have not looked out into their boutiques lately so i'm not too sure but i've gotten these like years back a few years back like not 10 years but about uh, three four maybe five so um you can check it out but i am not too sure and i've not went to the website and take a look yet so that is it so um yeah so thank you guys for spending time with me i do 
I do enjoy making videos so that I can actually do a bit of a housekeeping of like my items. So, and then to remind myself like how much I like them, how do I use them, and I'll just yeah like now i'll be using this tomorrow i thought of like using this but again i do baby i was like thinking maybe in special occasions like a wedding dinner or a birthday party i would use this because yeah if not not on a daily basis like a chore no because i do baby the hardwares here so i think no i'll, I'll still stick with this one which i'm very happy and if honestly i know that i have another piece and i mean that's where even if this is like not doing so well or wear and tear I do know that I have like a backup piece with me so I won't get another piece that's for sure but I got the second piece simply because like the price is like really good like $100 USD for this I mean yeah and I authenticate it I knew it is a real authentic um, authentic piece and is exactly the same in fact mine is much better in condition that one I've got is like a little bit folded this way so mine is like straighter so i yeah so but it doesn't bother me i mean given the price i'm not being too fussy so i will only get one more if it's like in the monogram that i can find of course in a price that's not too ridiculous i i know that it's limited edition i know it's done but you can mark up a little bit or maybe at the, the price but the price was like 2.5 times the original price i mean it's just not something that i would pay for that's about it I would say so that's it thank you guys for watching again anything can leave it in the comments box below and have a good time bye